Well, what's up everybody? Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape once again. So as you can see, I'm in the shop. Got the lights on. It's getting late. Eh, well not too late. It's only about 7.20. So not too late. So uh, went up and grabbed a bite to eat. And so I'm going to be doing a uh, kind of a how-to. Uh, it's new to me, so forgive me if there's pauses or stumbles or I act like I don't know what I'm doing. So, But we're going to try it. So, um, let me turn the camera around real quick, and we'll get into exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, hold on a sec. Alright, so you can see, here's the quick track, and I have me a bucket. And, uh, y'all heard me mention a couple times the, uh, surging issue with the quick track sometimes when it's under a load. That it will start to surge, and I will have to idle it down and let it sit for... 20 seconds or so and then when I idle it back up it tends to be all right for a good little while so um, one gentleman that I work with suggested that there may be some trash in the bottom of the tank uh, it's possible I, as you know I bought this mower used so what I'm going to do is actually disconnect the hoses uh, one here which I've already got I actually cut it I'll explain that in a minute and then I'll disconnect this hose from the pickup tube here. And then I'm going to take the straps off of the tank. There's a strap here and here. And they simply bolt right there. Bolt runs through the bottom of them. Take those loose. Take them off. And then I'm going to take the tank loose. And I bought some cheesecloth it's just a woven cloth i actually bought two packs um so that i can kind of lay them over the top of the bucket and one this way one that way so the fibers will cross and strain the gas into this bucket to if there's any trash in the gas itself and then i will take the tank and actually use the shop vac to vacuum it out make sure it's good and clean on the bottom and then I would have to obviously put everything back together once it, uh, it's clean. And I got my pin light here that I can look down in the tank with. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'll get set up here shortly and show you how it's going. Well, all right, y'all. I'm back real quick. Uh, what I was talking about with the hose earlier where I cut it off is I was trying to wiggle this hose and pull it off and... Uh, you can tell this is weathered a little bit. So in my wiggling and pulling, the neck just simply broke. So I have to get a new one of these, which I think it's just a vent. Um, so I don't think it's going to cause a problem um, if I had an emergency situation where I needed to run it. But obviously, I got the Z-Track and other options, but... Um, I got the bands off as you can see these are 11 millimeter uh, bolt and lock nut um, The front one you don't have to take all the way off and just enough to get it to where it'll It'll uh, loosen up enough to come off the top of the tank and it slides off the back one is just best to take completely um, off and there it is. You can see where I got it apart. It's just a simple band that holds it in there. Um, just because it can't come off the back without taking this uh, fender loose. And I think that's just a little more aggravation than it's worth. So let's take the back band all the way off. This band, like I say, you can loosen it up enough to just kind of lift the top off. And then it'll, it uh, comes off itself. You see where they latch into these grooves. And... The tank just sits here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cheesecloth here and uh, I don't have a strap. Well, I do have a strap. I could strap it to the top of the bucket, but I think what I'm simply going to do is hold it over this hole here like that. And then I'm going to turn the tank upside down and pour it into the bucket. So I'm just going to pick the tank up, hold the cheesecloth down on it, and then pour it in there let it filter and 
and once the fuel dumps in there then i will uh, set the tank back up and kind of take a peek inside of it and see if there's any trash down here in the bottom if so i'll get uh shot back out um over there and just vacuum it out and see um and then we'll have to kind of get it all put back together so that's what we're doing i'll say i got the other hose off um be, again be careful taking these off um because this has the flare on it on the barbs there you can see so it's a little tough to get them off um and if it pops off which it did to me um it can kind of sling gas towards you so be sure you get your safety glasses and stuff on when you're messing with it so i'm going to see if i can set it up to uh get this set up to pour the fuel out of the tank and then uh i'll try to get some footage of that for you so stick around all right well you can hear me over the dog constantly barking I did find me a bungee cord here and I think this will work as long as I don't try to just dump the fuel all at one time in it. So I'm going to pick the tank up and slowly say pour this fuel out and see if it uh, filters any trash out of it and then uh, see if I need to get anything out of the tank. So let's see what comes out of here. Look at there. That's off the cap, obviously. Well, wow, as you can see, uh, some of this may have fell off the bottom of the tank, some of these larger pieces, but uh, as you can see, quite a bit of trash in the tank, so we'll probably take the shop back and uh, look down in there and see if, uh, not the shop back and look, but my little, my light and look down in the tank here and see if we can see anything else it looks like there's any other trash in the tank and, and there's a couple of pieces in there so i'll probably take the uh shop vac and slide in here and just stick it down to the bottom and vacuum the bottom off 
and then uh, we'll get a fresh piece of this uh, cloth and uh, probably strain the fuel back into it into the tank over here uh, and put it back and then I'll try to see if I can pick up one of these pieces here where the necks broke so I can pick one of those up at the dealer tomorrow but like I said I think that's just a vent so uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal but we'll see and uh, so we'll get this thing put back together stick around well you can kind of see I don't have this one completely tight yet but this is the bolt the strap and there's a lock nut on the other side say so it's 11 millimeter on both and I just put a box in wrench on one side ratchet it down until it tightens the band up see it just squeezes it together and it holds this in place I've already got one on but I'll show you how to do it slide the box in wrench on one side and then just simply tighten it up until it snugs down and it's good and tight Yes, a cordless ratchet or even a uh, There we go good and snug Both of them there so Now all I got to do is Hook this plug this hose back up to this worked out pretty good and I'll take my pliers and squeeze this clamp slide it back up here and actually you saw the rope that came out it was actually the rope that holds this on it had fell off come off somehow and fell down in the tank so got it attached back so it'll be properly installed like it's supposed to and I got me another pack of the cheesecloth here and what I'll probably do is take it and set it over this hole and pour the fuel back into the tank so hopefully this will fix that problem and then all I've got to do is replace this at some point this little vent fit in here and that'll be it so that's it uh, tank removal and checking for the trash in the tank so just something simple but a little kind of a little how-to uh, nothing to it like I say 11 millimeter wrench 11 millimeter socket uh, you can use a ratchet or cordless ratchet or air ratchet either one um, a pair of pliers for your clamp on your fuel hose and that's pretty much it so Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back to wrap this one up in just a minute. All right, so you see, got the cap and everything back on. This hose is hooked back up, and my clamp put up here. Turn the fuel on and off. And we got the cap to where that piece is attached back, so now it can function properly and hang there like it's supposed to instead of having to set it off to the side because nothing's there. I got that fixed and I'll be going to check on this piece tomorrow with the dealer and I think this is simply this is just a vapor vent because um, it goes around and goes into this canister right here so it just kind of loops up comes back down and goes out and goes over there to the tank so I think it's just a vapor canister vent um but i'm still gonna try to get that repaired so um before i make this one too long like i say that's just the uh fuel tank removal uh clean out and remounting 
and hooking everything back up so hopefully something in this video was helpful to you or somebody um i want to say thank you for taking the time out to watch and for everybody who has subscribed thank you i'm closing in on 600 i believe so i've got some uh merch on order and some other stuff that i've got to get ordered so that i can do the subscriber giveaway so promise you i haven't forgot but uh things just still kind of crazy around here but again thank y'all if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button at the bottom leave me a thumbs up and uh comment let me know what you think and um yeah y'all be safe be kind be blessed and we'll catch you on the next one thanks everybody